Hello everyone, welcome to the new video and today we will discuss some github commands which can be asked in DevOps interview. So yeah, let's go. So first question is what is the difference between git rebase and git merge? So what happens in git merge, whatever the changes are there, it will be considered as one object, it will maintain the commit history. but you know uh, we cannot define that in which commit what changes were there in which commit what changes were there. so even after integrating in git rebase we get the detailed info about all the commits that we have done but in git merge the commits are considered as one object so we, after integration we don't know that in which commit what was done so basically git rebase is used when you have smaller uh, uh, projects small repository or when any cleanup is required then we uh, you know do the merge uh, do the rebase and we clean up the feature branch like this but git merge is used when we are you know doing at a working at a larger scale and integrating the um, you know uh, changes then we use uh, git merge so basically when multiple contributors are doing the changes then we are using the git merge so what are git sub modules and why we we use it or uh, when we use it so git sub modules embedded with another git repository and they allow a repository to include and track another repository at a specific commit so maintaining the separate history so use cases ideal for managing dependencies or libraries that need to be included as a part of larger project without directly integrating their code into the main repository okay uh, so uh, git sub modules are basically keeping the track of another dependency that we have that we that is required in the other you know uh, repository or our project we need to keep the track of that also then we use git sub module what are git hooks and how would you use them so git hooks are the scripts that would run uh, you know whenever we want to so git git hooks are uh, git hooks are uh, like primarily configured uh, like in uh, while uh, pre commit hooks while committing uh, if something is violated uh, the script runs and something is violated then it doesn't allow the user to commit their code so this is basically done to avoid any uh, you know any uh, uh, major issue that can go into the codes so um, basically if someone asks you that what all security parameter you have you included you can tell this that you have you know uh, git uh, git hooks have been configured in uh, pre commit hooks or pre push hooks so that nothing major issue should go you have uh, written a script where you know for tackling for catching the exceptions which should not go uh, in the codes in the main branch that you have done so you can tell this while if you are answering that how like how you have implemented security then the major question is are that what explain the git branching strategy or git workflow that is followed in your organization so basically you first of all whenever uh, there for there is a main branch then there is a developed branch which is used by developer and purpose then there is a feature branch there is a release branch feature branch is taken from the main branch release branch you know uh, uh, release branch is taken from the main branch hotfix branch is taken when there is a bug or production it is taken directly sorry release branch is taken from the development branch and uh, when the new release is going to happen hotfix branch is taken from directly from the main branch because you have to solve the bug instantly so this is what the branching strategy branches you follow and uh, you every day you will have to you know take the new code up uh, take the new updates then you start writing then you can tell that uh, uh, if there is a stage in for testing purpose we are using you know development uh, environment and then goes on you will use you know uh, production uh, pre-production or staging environment then production so all this uh, next question is how would you manage versioning for a project using github so there are git tags 
so it uh, like git tags are used git releases are used so git tags it uh, you know it downloads the zip file of our code and it uh, saves as a you know as a zip file we can store it uh, as a zip file we can tag it with a name whatever we want whatever version we want to give and github release is built from git tags and they include the release notes too so yeah this is how you are maintaining versions and everything so that uh, you know versioning is there if something has to be rolled out or uh, you roll down then you can accordingly do it so yeah that's all for today's uh, video i will give all the question in description section so that you can refer it from there so i hope it's helpful yeah. take care bye